is uh, why can't one husband be with multiple women and one woman or a wife can be with multiple husband in today's society among consenting adults and uh, what impact do these uh, people have when they're involved in such relationships well there are many aspects so historically you know there has been a draupadi who had five husbands all right there this has been a matriarchal society where in many parts of the country even today in some parts of the country it's still practiced that uh, five brothers are married to one woman these things were done at a certain time when the social situations were such or men were married to many more i mean more than one woman this was mainly because men died more often than women today both men and women are outside both may get killed that's different but at that time largely women stayed home because she was continuously pregnant from the age of 14 to 45 50 she's almost all the time either she is pregnant or she has a young child this is how life used to be so because of that she stayed home and she took care of the property and the agriculture and stuff man went out to do business or for war or something else he went out so men always died more often so generally in most societies in the past the number of men was much less than the number of women always this has been the state all across the world so naturally when so many women were there they needed care and they needed support in the society and those days a woman could not exist by herself she unless she is protected by a male uh, a partner it would be very difficult for her to exist by herself because she would be exploited in so many different ways so always they attach themselves so naturally a man ended up having two three women because the num the population ratio was like that but now largely it's leveled out if some individual does it it's not a issue but if that becomes a social norm then how do you decide somebody has whatever multiple wives and how do you decide somebody has no wife this will become a social you know collision it will become it will become lot of problems in the society because we may act civilized i'm i'm very particular i'm very clear about saying we act civilized but when when we are denied basic things that we need all our civilization evaporates and we will behave behave like animals yes or no so when fundamentals are denied people will go flashing so that's not going to work in today's world and above all the women's condition will become very bad those days there was no dirt if you had land it was okay you had five wives it doesn't matter you had 25 acres it was good enough everybody ate well and that's about it but today our requirements are not just about eating it's about many things so that kind of thing will lead to lot of complicated situations in the society it's better to stick one on one and uh, anyway forever people have been doing their own things beyond the legal relationships things have been happening in the societies that involves a certain risk somebody who is willing to take that risk that's for them but others will live within the legal format it's a balanced society if you are asking this question in a more existential way well <clears throat> see this this is a certain framework of not just of bone and muscle and flesh there is a certain energy framework only because of that it takes in you know, a certain form see if you eat mangoes every day and let's say a cow eats mangoes every day at some point will you or the cow get confused whether you are a cow or a human being or will the cow get confused such a thing never happens because there is a clear cut inner framework to which flesh and blood is added but there is a framework an evolutionary memory framework is there it never gets broken isn't it so in this framework how strong you keep this framework how integ how much integrity is there to this energy framework will determine many things about your life many aspects of your life 
especially if you want to ra raise this life to another level of function, it's very important you maintain this integrity. This is why irrespective of which religion, which spiritual process, if people want to raise them till to a certain point, first thing they will talk about is becoming monks or brahmacharis or sannyasis, because the idea is to create such a level of integrity that this is a whole life by itself, that it doesn't lean on anything else for support, either for physical well-being or emotional well-being or psychological companionship, it doesn't lean on anything, it stands by itself because you want to take it somewhere else. If you want normal function, these things are not necessary. Now you want to become a rocket which breaks through a certain dimension of space, now you need to be in a different level of force and integrity, otherwise it'll crack up. So you don't want to open your body to anything and especially opening to multiple partners has its own negativity in that context. How much pain and you look at uh, Draupadi's life, how much volatility, how much pain, how much suffering she went through in her life and how much pain and suffering she caused because of her anger and jealousy and whatever else. So these things happen for variety of reasons, you can't blame everything on that one aspect, but that aspect also has a, a say in these aspects because you're opening up your uh, memory body, your energy… energetic body which is essentially ruled by memory to variety of memories. This will cause a whole lot of turmoil within the system which could affect that life and many other lives. So Draupati's life is in a way a sample for that. It's not an absolute. This is not an absolute but this has an influence. Thank you Sadhguru.